today's video is gonna be fun. This was a request from one of you guys that I posted in my Instagram stories. It was a time-lapse version, and I'm gonna try my best to mimic that same flow I did. But you know, as you might already know, it's really different when you do a self-practice versus something that you teach. But I'm gonna try my best to really do each pose as much as possible. Make sure that you're fully warmed up because I'm not gonna take you to a very intense warm-up here. We're just gonna be warming up in a very advanced way. Way. <laughs> and it's gonna be a fun flow. So if you end up liking this video, make sure to give this a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. My name is Regina. Thank you so much for clicking this video and for being here. There's gonna be a lot of peak poses in this class. So if you wanna check out those asanas, I'm gonna be also listing them in the description box below so you know what to expect from this video. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna jump right in. We are gonna start standing. So pick whatever side of your yoga mat. I'm gonna choose this way. Big breath in first, reach your hands up overhead. And exhale hands to your heart space. And I want you to really focus on your body. So whatever you feel that is limited with your range, make sure that you are not going to be pushing your body, okay? Just to where you can. Let's begin. Starting with right leg first, we're gonna cross it to the left. And reaching your hands up overhead, interlace your fingers when you reach the top, you're gonna bend to the opposite side of that right foot. So to the right side. Okay, and then again, you're gonna step to that front foot as you cross the other foot to the opposite side, left foot to the right, and inhale, stretch, and exhale to bend to the left side. So you're bending to the opposite direction of the front foot. Again, as you step to the front foot, inhale, stretch up, cross the foot, and then exhale to bend. Step your weight to that front foot. Inhale to stretch. Cross the back, back foot in front. Exhale to bend. And just keep on going. Cross the back foot in front of the other. Inhale. Exhale to bend. Okay, inhale. And exhale again to bend. Now, if you have a little bit more space in front, we're gonna fold, untangle that bind. Hands behind you this time, and you're gonna interlace it behind. I like my index finger out. Inhale to stretch your arms, open your chest and your shoulders, and exhale, you're gonna bend your knees, and you're gonna fold halfway, belly to thigh. From this halfway lift, you want your ha hands all the way up. Now you're gonna try to fold and try to straighten your legs. A deep and intense fold with that cross legs. We'll look down and find your balance. It's gonna be really hard. It's okay if you're wobbly. Yeah, good. To come out, you're just gonna bend halfway again. Belly and thigh are still always connected. That is actually really helpful for you. So you can help yourself to come up. Good, it's also a safe way to fold. Now the back leg, you're gonna cross it again to the other side. And this time, inhale, puff out your chest. Back bend and exhale, bend the knees, fold onto your thigh. Belly and thigh connection or connected, good. Slowly, trying to straighten both legs and folding some more. <sighs> now let go of the bind if you can in this fold. And I like my palms facing up. So you're just gonna have the tops of your palms flat down this way. Inhale, exhale. Good, one more, you're gonna cross again. You can have a support with your fingertips. Back leg sweeps and crossing it all over to the other side. Good, inhale for your flat back, halfway lift. You can have a bend in your knees if you need to. And exhale, you're gonna fold with palms now flat down and have your hands all the way out. 
good. Ooh, this is a warm up. <laughs> Ooh, intense. Good. Now with that left leg in front, you're gonna cross or you're gonna draw a half circle with your body to the right, right? The opposite direction of that left foot. Basically left foot going to the right and then you're facing now the opposite direction of your mat. Have your feet hip distance apart or a little bit wider coming into your halfway lift. Inhale, exhale, you're gonna fold all the way down. You could have a bend in your knees again if you need to. And this time, I want my left hand in front extended forward, right? From the fingertips up or like pushing down, your right hand will now sweep up and back to your top back. So it's like a half X shape now forming in your forearm, right? From there, you're just going to wave your body to the left and right or shake it left and right, whatever you feel good here. And allowing yourself to really hang down with gravity. Feeling that, you know, pressure or the stretch with the back legs and your uh, feet really rooting down. Okay, drop back to your center. Extend that right hand all the way forward and left hand will now cross to the upper back. Good, bend the elbows, same thing. And you're just gonna wave to the left and right or shaking your body left and right. As you, if you have a bend in your knees, you could just stay in this uh, fold, right? Your belly is sitting on your thighs or folding onto the thighs as you rock yourself sides to sides. Keep on breathing. Good. Now stretch all the way. You're going to try to now cross both hands on top of your back. So right hand to the top left and then left hand to the top right shoulder. So you're basically forming this X shape, right? And then you're going to try to see if you could actually find your balance as you wave left and right or rock yourself side to side. Good, now let go, halfway lift, flat back, inhale, and exhale, you're going to fold some more. Good, now halfway again, flat back, and as you exhale, you're going to crawl your fingertips to find your downward facing dog. Good. Now adjust yourself to where you feel comfortable in your down dog. And you can start to pedal the feet, bending one knee at a time here. Now adding in some waves, so steady your downward dog. And you're going to roll your spine forward and back. Good. You can have a bent knees as you roll back if that feels better for you. Or you could try both, right? Roll forward and try to straighten your legs as you push back or wave back. And then again, alternate roll forward, bend knees, and push back. Spinal waves. Breathe. Okay, I'll meet you in downward dog. And this time, you're going to roll your spine forward, coming into your upward facing dog. So you're not going to do chaturanga. You're just going to dip your hips down. Upward dog. Good. And then shake or wiggle yourself left and right if that feels good. No pushing with your lumbar. You want to really push yourself up and to really not get that lumbar um, pain, if you will. And notice that if you're internally rotating, which I know a lot of people say this, or teachers, when you're up dog, it's actually more hurtful for the lumbar. So you want to really open. And as you open your shoulders, externally rotating, you're gonna also open the chest and you can push or shift forward and back and shift 
side to side. Now my elbows are now really touching my ribs, right? So you're drawing them towards your midline to get that really thoracic bend instead of the lumbar. But again, it's gonna depend on you. I want you to get a feel of both. Push back, downward facing dog. That is intense for the, the back. But if you did it right, you should not have any pain in your lumbar. All right, we're gonna be warming up in three-legged dog. So we're gonna try to hit all angles and I want your feet together. We're gonna start with the left leg up, okay? Take a deep breath in, lift the left leg up. And now I'm, I want you to get a wave here, wavy feeling, maybe bending the knee, right? And then sending it in knee to chest and then dropping it down, but you're not fully dropped, just hovered. And then as you lift or move and shift the knee back, you're kind of waving your body forward and back, right? So knee is drawing up and drawing down, right? So you will find that wavy feeling. And then again, pull, push it all the way up, three-legged dog. This time, you're gonna bend that knee. Good, stack your hip joints. And then you're gonna try to roll your knee or big circles, left, right, or forward and up. There's no right or wrong. I want you to get a really, just like play with this, right? I want you to get that very fluid spine. Good. There's no right or wrong. You probably look silly and that's fine. Okay? Stretch. Good. And then you're gonna tap the ground to the left side with straight legs. You're just gonna try. Doesn't have to touch. Whatever feels okay for your end range or your maximum flexibility, your mobility, your hip rotation, whatever it is, maybe bent knees, tapping the shoulders or the armpits, lifting it up through your legged dog. We're gonna take our vinyasa here, roll your spine forward, high plank, hold for a little bit, three, two, one, shift forward, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Beautiful. If you're ready for some more feet together, we're gonna do the other side. Okay, right leg lifts up. Good, send it in, knee to chest, and we're gonna roll again. Knee down, maybe to the wrist, and then back as you just follow that wave with your spine. You will feel that. So focus on your body, your spine, yourself, as you wave your knee. So knee to chest, to armpits, to wrist down, and sliding it all the way back, and repeat. Extend all the way, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, stack your hip joints. Good, try to get a feel of flexing your foot and pointing, and drawing big circles of that right knee. Breathe. Now maybe waving and playing with shifting your weight forward and back. Ooh, ooh, every angle now. Again, extend, three-legged dog. And this time, you're gonna tap to the right side as you shift forward. Good, up, and maybe tap, straightening the leg to the right side and up. Good. Or maybe pairing it with a bent knee, tap the knee down, and bringing it up. Right? There's no right or wrong. You're warming up completely your spine and your full body here. Okay, stretch. And let's take our vinyasa. Roll forward. One-legged high plank. Hold three, two, one. Shift forward. Shoulders past the wrist. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Ooh. Big breath in through your nose. And then you're gonna sigh it all out, let it go. <sighs> Good, one more time, we're gonna take our lion's breath. Inhale thing through the nose. Lion's breath, you're gonna stick your tongue all the way out to exhale. <sighs> Look back. Good job. Feet together again. Left leg lifts all the way up. Okay, knee to chest. 
I want you to get your fallen triangle first. Kick it outside of the right hand. And then you're going to pivot the back heel down, right hand sweeps up. Good. Now we're going to circle that right arm. One direction. And then opposite direction. Breathe. Hold that side plank or fall in triangle. Whew. And hand down. Left leg up. Inhale. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Doing that on the other side. Right leg lifts up. Exhale. Knee to your chest. Slide it outside of the left hand. Fall in triangle. Left hand sweeps all the way up. Pivot the back heel down. Big breath in. Exhale to roll or draw circles with the arm. Reverse. Good. All right, drop the hand down, knee to your chest, send it up, and breathe in here. Exhale. Drop to your down dog. Beautiful. Now I want you to open your feet as wide as your mat. You're going to crawl your fingertips towards your feet. Trying to get that straight spine as you crawl, right? So you're not rounded, stick out your butt, arch the back completely feeling so you can really do that. Okay, and then you're gonna crawl it again forward. Good. And then try to crawl to the feet with a rounded back. So you really get a feel of everything, right? So what is more practical or easier for you? With that crawling, for me, it's always easy to arch the back. Tailbone up, right? And from there, you're gonna pivot your heel now facing towards the midline as you drop your hips down, coming into your Malasana Yogi Squat, palms to touch to your height space. Elbows drawing out of your knees, good. Push it out. Now we're gonna try to find stillness for a little bit. Take a breath in this position. Good, just one breath cycle, open your eyes. Try to steady your breath to get you that grounded feeling immediately, right? Okay, now we're gonna stretch. So have your hands all the way out wider than your hips, wider than your knees, and try to just fold as you lift the bum and drop the bum. Again, lift and drop. Lift and drop. You will feel this in your inner thighs. Good. All right, from there, hands to your heart, and then you're gonna drop one knee towards your midline, right? It doesn't have to drop completely on the mat. This is gonna depend on your mobility, right? So you could just stay. Let's start with the left knee down and then twist to the right, good. Back to your malasana, center, right knee down and twist to the left, beautiful. With each twist and drop of the knee, you're gonna drop it lower. Inhale as you come back to your center, Exhale as you drop one knee to your midline. Beautiful. Just keep on going. Good. Option to bring your hands forward. And if you want to do some movement, hands forward to your center. And as you drop one knee down, you're going to bring it up. Good. Center, forward, drop the knee, lift the hands up. Beautiful center, bring it forward, and then drop, lift the hand. So it's opposite. Dropping the knee, lifting the hands up, dropping the knee, center, or rather dropping the arm. You get it, guys. <laughs> Inhale, center, exhale up. Inhale, exhale. Good. That's great for your um, knee or like internal rotation of the hip. Now you're going to stay in one side. So mine is on the right. So just stay there for a few breaths. Try to touch it to the ground, but it's okay if it doesn't. Oops, excuse me. <laughs> oh. 
Good. Now release back to center, and then doing that on the other side. Whoo! Yeah, stay. You could play with the toes or feet, depending on how you're feeling, right? Just get everything really, whoo, trying to push yourself more. Stay for a few more. All right. Come back to your center, Malasana, and you're going to sit on your bum. Extend your legs forward, Dandasana. We're just going to take a little quick Paschimottanasana. Inhale and exhale. Fold. Ooh. How is that feeling for the legs? A little braining, huh? You can shake it up. Good job. Now we're gonna bend our knees and we're gonna come to our boat pose. Halfway lift first. Good. Now for just a quick core activation, we're gonna try to tap one foot at a time or toes to the mat. Just find your own breath rhythm here. Focus in one point and then I want it to be faster, tap. Tap, tap, switches. Good, good. Work on the core. And then all the way, we are gonna stretch it to our full Navasana. Up, up, up. Whoo, three, two, and one. Woo, bringing it down, ah, and fold again. Inhale, Paschimottanasana. Stay there for a few breaths. I like to pull my toes, or maybe getting a massage of your own feet with your hands if it reaches. <laughs> All right, whoo! Now we're gonna come into our downward facing dog. So you're just gonna crawl yourself to your downward dog, finding your down dog, and we're gonna start with the left leg up. Lift the left leg up, breathe in. Exhale, you're gonna send it in, knee to chest. You're gonna drop it inside of your left hand, finding your crescent lunge. Big breath in. Good, crescent, and you're gonna transition to your goddess facing the right side. Bend both of your knees, bend your elbows. Good, inhale to stretch. Exhale to cactus, goddess. Inhale, exhale to cactus. Okay, inhale, stretch all the way your arms and knees. And now we are gonna fold. As we fold, we're gonna pivot our feet, heels facing out, and then toes towards the midline. And then inhale to stretch up. Exhale, you're gonna halfway fold first. Beautiful, from here, you're gonna try to see if you could reach the ground, stick out your butt completely, and then fold some more. You could maybe attempt to do some pulses here. Good, inhale, flat back. Exhale, completely forward fold in a wide-legged stance. Beautiful. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Okay, What's, what we're gonna do next is Pinchamayarasana. I'm gonna enter in a straddle position, okay? You don't have to do it if you can't get there yet, right? You could do headstands if you like. And then as we go down, we're going to go down to our Ustrasana or Camel Pose, knees down. So knees together, Thunderbolt Pose or Vajrasana, you're going to be sitting on your heels. I'll just meet you down there, okay? But I'm going to try to attempt Baby Bakasana lower or Baby Crow if I can make it because that's the video that I did. <laughs> All right, when you're ready, we're going to adjust ourselves to get to our straddle entry of Pinchamayarasana, okay? Placing my forearms down, I like my elbows a little bit closer than my shoulder's distance, right? Because the tendency, if you straddle, right, as you tip your toes or heels up, when you really float, your uh, elbows will try to splay out, and it will kind of go out because of the pressure of when you lift your toes, right? So I like my elbows down or closer. All right, inhale, I'll meet you there. You can have whatever shape you like. 
I'm just going to go on to a straight line. Good. And then I'm going to lower to baby bakasana. Bending my knees, lowering down. Whew. To my armpits as much as I can. Hold for a little bit. And then I'm going to meet you in this Vajrasana. This is our Thunderbolt pose. Knees together or in line with your hips. Whew, how are you doing? Did you make it? <laughs> All right, if you didn't make it, I'll wait for you here. And then I'm just gonna adjust myself on the mat. Okay. Thunderbolt Vajrasana, sit on your heels. And then we're gonna do some camel swings, as I like to call it, right? So dropping the right hand down, and as you lift your hips up, your leg kind of side bending here. Left hand will squeeze or swift and swing to the right side and to back bend, and then back to your center. Same thing, left hand will drop. Inhale as you lift your hips and hands up. And exhale to swing to the left side. Drop. Drop the right hand down and swing. Switches. All right, now we're gonna do our Ustrasana, our camel pose. I like to cup my heels with my hands. This way, this is a great angle so you can see. And then I'm gonna push my hips up and forward for your camel pose. Back bend here, look up. Or if you're comfortable to look all the way down, you can do that too. Breathe. We're gonna stay for a few breaths. Three. Two. And one. Release. Sit on your heels. Vajrasana. Thunderbolt pose. Good. Now we're going to come to our forward fold. Okay? So curl your... I, I like to kind of see, see what I'm doing here. <laughs> toes. <laughs> and then flipping my toes. All right. Inhale. Find your flat back. Exhale to fold. We're gonna do our sugar cane pose here. You don't need to turn, but in my other flow, I actually did sugar cane pose facing the back, but I'm gonna face the side so you can see my form. You don't need to turn. So we're gonna start with the left hand dropping down, right leg up, finding your balance. So try to see if you could do a little bit of a half moon pose first, and then focus on one point down so you can really find your balance. And then from the half moon, you're gonna bend that lifted knee. Trying to grab the foot with your hand. That upper hand, beautiful. Foot or ankle. This is gonna depend on your flexibility and mobility. Adjust yourself. And then you're gonna kick that foot up. Knee. Try to drive or draw the knee up. So you can really open the groin area for your um, sugar cane pose. Good, and we're gonna hold this position, focusing on the groin opening, the hips. Really open, 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 because after this, we're gonna do standing splits, right? So this is the preparatory for that. And then release to drop. Beautiful. Halfway lift, exhale to fold. Again, doing that on the other side. Right fingertips will uh, be on the mat. Left leg up. And then half moon pose first. Left hand will sweep all the way up, finding your balance here. And then opening the hips. Looking down, breathe. And then bending the knee. Good, grab it with the left hand, the foot or the ankle. And from there, you're gonna kick the knee up, right? And especially the foot too. But like if you kind of focus on the knee Facing up, you will feel the stretch more and the groin area is really opening up. Hold. Welcome to your sugar cane. Just in case it's your first time. <laughs> hold, hold, hold. Open up. Stretch. And who release. If you like to go all the way now to your standing splits and if you find your balance, that's great. If you could like lift that left leg, straightening it up. If not, 
pick yourself back up and I'll meet you here. So really focusing on um, that balance, right? So the right foot is fully grounded and rooting down, pointing that lifted toes. And then I like my left hand to be also like a straight arm, right? This way outside of the mat, right? And then from there, right leg can be behind your right leg. And focusing on that foot, big toe, hold, 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 and release. Bend your knees, woohoo, and doing that on the other side. When you're ready, we're just gonna do standing splits and all the way, forward fold, inhale, flat back, exhale to fold. Now let's kick that right leg up. Who standing splits, opening. And then I like again, my right hand all the way straight. Sometimes I also do this, like a diagonal line or diagonal uh, point, right? And then left hand behind. Ooh, and then, whoo, cramping, <laughs> release. Whew. You're gonna sit on your bum and I like to really just rest for a little bit. That's intense for me. And I, I'm resting in this way. I like to grab my heels. Inhale and exhale. And I'm having my head down onto my knees. It doesn't have to be like this if you want to go onto your child's pose or your Paschimottanasana, whatever you feel good in your rest right now. I'm just gonna be over here for a few breaths. Finding your center once again. Feeling every part of your body, right? Are you feeling even? All right, are you still there? When you're ready, we're gonna do some more. We're gonna have our forearms drop behind us. Good. So I'll meet you in this position. From here, we're gonna do a little bit of a core work in a different way. Again, elbows will draw towards the midline, right? So you're not splaying out. And then you're gonna lift and straighten your knees as much as possible. Now I want your uh, focus on your core here, right? We're gonna be doing a cross motion or scissors, right? Scissors, 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 scissors down. You're not gonna lower your feet completely and then you're just gonna scissors again up. Okay, and I like to do this as slow as I can feel my core. So this is gonna depend on you. You want to breathe into it, breathe into the difficulty. And as you really push yourself, you want your shoulders out, right? This is already burning as I'm talking, right? You feel that if your legs are lifted. So you're just gonna cross, 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 up and down. Breathe. until you feel super burn. <laughs> Ooh, my core is on fire, my legs, my quads. Scissors, scissors. Ooh. And release. Ooh, that was burning. If you didn't feel that, do it again. <laughs> Ooh. And then we're gonna come up to our butterfly pose or Baddha Kanasana. So knees will splay out, feet to touch and you can grab your feet, your ankles, whatever you can grab to keep your torso straight up, right? You can even open the butt cheeks left and right so you're fully grounded. Inhale, flatten your back, or a little bit arch is fine. Exhale to fold. Ooh, I love that hip opening, and we're gonna stay here for a little bit. I like my hands to be like this, palms are facing up. Gonna take a little bit of a break. All right, coming back up. I'm now gonna face you. You're just gonna spread your legs nice and wide, as wide as you can. Go to kind of like a middle split almost, right? How are you feeling now with your legs? Get a feel of your body. All right, we're gonna do um, some sides uh, bending in this position and fold. Okay, we're gonna stretch the side body more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, right hand down and bend to the right side. Ooh, let's stay here. 
look up if you like, to challenge yourself and really ground. Your femur is firmly rooting down as you really stretch and side bend here. And then release. Coming back up to your center, inhale, right hand lifts up and exhale, bend to the left side. Ooh. Heel is firmly rooted. Or heels, there's two heels. Good. Ooh. Back to center. And opening up. Right, so you want to open up, open, open the butt cheeks, I mean, left, right, and then you're going to find your fold in your middle splits. Sometimes I kind of like to tilt my, um, my, what do you call this, groin or my hips, <laughs> forward and back. So you're kind of getting that arch in the back and then a little bit rounded, right? So there's no really right or wrong. This is... This is not accessible to a lot of people, right? So it depends on your mobility and flexibility at the moment. So you want to feel your body. Sometimes I like to wiggle myself left and right to really fully ground me. And we're going to go fold all the way down. For our pancake, <laughs> it doesn't have to be all the way down. Again, if you can't, I mean, obviously, you don't need to do it, right? But just try where you're at. You could have a V-shape more with your legs and then maybe try to fold there breathe good now you're gonna come up Ooh, how are your hips that's always very intense for me too <laughs> and then I always kind of like to counteract it with a little dandasana right and then Paschimottanasana inhale and exhale Good. Gonna stay for a few. Nice. Now you're gonna slide your feet towards you here. We're gonna be challenging ourselves with our toes, our ankles here. We're gonna do a hold of our uh, squat. I think it's an Asian type of squat, right? So knees together. Again, this is not accessible to everyone, but if you can do it, then yes. Come and join me, okay? We're going to come to our tippy toes. So let's first try to see if we could balance, right? Hands in a prayer position, and you're just going to come up and bring your heels and down, right? So find your center here, and I want you to really focus on yourself and your breath. Now, if you feel good enough to hold that position, Right? My bum is now sitting on my heels. Nothing here is relaxed. Everything is engaged. And I could maybe play with my hands forward. So depending on you, to can find your balance, maybe to the sides. And maybe cactus. Or maybe behind your neck. Depending on you, notice I'm not moving my eyeballs and eye socket. Of course, if you're focusing too, then you can't see me, but I'm doing this in a very focused manner. I can talk, but my eyes are not moving. Holding, holding. That was a long hold that I did in that time lapse. But then if you want to challenge yourself more, you can come all the way up in that tippy toes. Again, if you can't, you can always go down, right? But if you just want to challenge yourself, I'm going to come all the way up to stand. That's an exhalation as I stand all the way up and dropping my heels down. Good job. If you didn't, come, if you didn't make it there, I'll just meet you in a standing position. Whew, how are you doing? We're going to have a few more fun sequences and it's going to be a lot harder moving forward here, right? Because we're going to add in some dragon pistol squat and you got this. All right. <laughs> Whew, almost done. We are going to do skandasana switches here, okay? So you're going to step, big step with your legs and then you're just going to try to pivot them. Toes are out. Heels are pointing towards the midline. And then you're going to try to bend one knee at a time first. And with each bend, you're going deeper and you're pivoting your feet to more parallel towards each other, right? So that 
it's 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 gonna depend on everybody's mobility and flexibility maybe you're lifting your toes up trying to grow all the way down down and down and down that requires a lot of mobility it doesn't have to be that low okay we'll stay in one side maybe left knee bends okay if you want to follow to the opposite side that's fine from this kandasana we're gonna send the left knee towards the midline so i want you to interlace your fingers in front of you palms facing towards you and then inhale you're gonna push forward so you're basically pushing down and forward your hands now it's forward right from there you're gonna lift it up as you sit on your bum and you're gonna drop that left knee towards your midline internally rotating this is really really important it's a good one for you to really test your mobility and back to your center lift your bum again up sit down as you drop the knee towards your center or midline lift the knee up lift your bum push up beautiful you could play with your hands there's no right or wrong here just to where you can keep your balance or find your balance good last one beautiful that's a good ankle stretch too or strengthening now we're gonna do some skandasana twist sit on your bum you're gonna grab the ankles with the right hand left hand sweeps all the way up breathing in and breathing out get a tippy toes if you like screw your body so you can twist and look up good coming back up woohoo to center now we're gonna face to the left side where that knee is bent okay you're gonna come to this lunge reach up crescent lunge and you're going to take a big step forward right with that back foot we're going to transition to our dancer's pose in front of your left leg right so inhale reach exhale to big step boom good job now we're going to transition now send that right leg up and back finding your dancer's pose so see where you can if you can actually get your active range with that foot lift 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 back bending now and then grab so whatever you can grab inside outside of the foot the ankle this is going to depend on your preference hand up left hand and drop it forward as you kick that right foot up option to get to your king dancer's pose if your flexibility and mobility allows right so i'm going to do a flip grip you don't have to do this but if you are aware about king dancers or you can do it then let's go get into it find your balance kick it up and we're gonna hold for a little bit back bend now breathe three two and one you're not gonna release completely you're gonna drop all the way down your hands to kick that right leg up as much as your active flexibility allows all the way standing splits here drop the hands beautiful job now kick up and maybe your standing splits is much better than the beginning right Woo. excuse my mic excuse my hair good now from here you're gonna i'm changing it up a little bit from the time lapse bend the knee and then you're gonna try because it's easier to transition this way than what i did in the time lapse you're gonna try to uh, cross that right leg at the back of the other leg right and now you're gonna drop it and then you're just gonna slide it to your dragon pistol good and then you can drop the right hand down you could square yourself if you want play with this and then lift the right knee up good again send it to your dragon pistol extend and slide it at the back of the left leg you can play with this feeling because it's gonna be different for everyone, right? You can drop your both hands, forearms, and lift it up. Good. Up and slide. Beautiful. Last one. Up and slide. Good job. <laughs> now we're gonna come to your feet together. We're gonna do our standing compass later on. Okay, a little bit changing with that um, other uh, time lapse. Right leg steps back good coming to this pyramid so adjust yourself not too wide 
and then see where you can let go of your hands. So trying to find your balance. Lift up your hands. And I want you to get your hands exhale as you hug. Again, inhale to lift up. Exhale, you're gonna hug yourself. It doesn't matter whatever hand is on top or arm. Good, from here, you're gonna fold onto your pyramid, finding that balance. Look straight ahead in front of you, take a deep breath in, and exhale, you're gonna fold as much as your knees can go straight. Good, maybe halfway first, and then from there, you could try to find your balance going all the way down. Good, that's a great challenge and an active way to fold as your hands are hugging your torso. Beautiful. We're gonna challenge ourselves. You're gonna pivot yourself towards the midline with those hands. Beautiful, that's gonna be really hard so you don't have to push yourself. If you fell, that's okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try to pivot to the other side again, okay? Beautiful job. Good. <laughs> now release. Whoo, hands down. And you're gonna come to your skandasana on this side. Side lunge. Good job if you followed along. Inhale. Push yourself forward. Good. And, or maybe up. I'm holding my breath. Exhale, you're gonna drop that right knee towards your midline. Good. Again, the hands doesn't really matter. Just find your own rhythm here, right? Inhale up, lift the hips. Exhale, sit down, drop the knee. Beautiful, open, up, inhale. Exhale, sit down, drop the knee to your midline. Keep on going. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale. Good. Last one. That's so good for your ankle. Inhale. Exhale. Whew. Okay, we're gonna change it up a little bit. Release. I don't know if you might notice on the time lapse, you're gonna come all the way, your knee, and you're gonna have this kind of bind, okay? Right shoulder inside of that right knee, right hand sweeps back, palm facing back, and you're gonna try to bind. Inhale, left hand sweeps back. All the way, you're gonna try to bind. Exhale. Opening here, look up. Holding. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Now from here, we're gonna plant our palms down. Your shoulder is still inside of that right knee. You're gonna try to do an elephant trunk pose variation, right? This is a different style. So basically, lift the foot up and open the knee out. The knee should be back of your torso. So if your knee is not back of your torso, it means your range is not there yet, right? And that's okay. Remember, we're all gonna be different. Hands down, plant it down. Just shoulders distance apart. Shift your weight forward as you lift your hips up, right? And you're gonna lift and try to lift the heel, left leg. Hold, three, two, one, drop. Beautiful job. Now release, that is burning, and then you're gonna come to your skandasana twist. Left hand, grab the ankle of the right ankle, and sweep that other hand up, breathe, and then breathe out here. Twist, same thing, open up. Look up. Stay for a little bit. We're almost done, guys. This is the last one here. And then coming back to sit up. <laughs> From here, you're gonna shift your weight or face to the right side with that front right knee. Okay, extend that right leg and you're gonna adjust yourself to that nice pyramid shape where you could keep your flat back. Breathe in, last one to breathe out here on the fold. Beautiful. Big step with that back foot forward, okay? So I want your fingertips crawling forward. From there, shifting your weight to that right leg and then bending both knees almost like a runner's lunge and then step that left leg forward. Good job. Inhale, reach all the way up. 
and then exhale you're gonna kick that left leg back beautiful bent knee and you're gonna try to arch your back from there you're gonna get a bend in that standing leg and really puff out your chest right higher with that back foot good good you got this quads working good gonna grab that foot and then we're gonna transition to our dancer's pose on this side kick that foot up and then hands forward or you can play with this hand to find your balance again you can either stay here or option to transition to your king dancer's pose find your balance and we're gonna stay here for a few breaths okay you're gonna breathe and then really feeling your back bend lift 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 the toes all energy from that leg and that standing leg everything is working here three two and one release and Ooh, trying to find your balance again. Kick that left leg up. Woohoo! Standing splits, active way. You got this. If not, you're just gonna come to your standing splits, hands down. Beautiful job. Woohoo! From this, we're not gonna hang out here fast or longer. We're just gonna come to our dragon pistol. You could either bend the knee or stretch as you drop and slide it down. Good. We're gonna do this for five. Five, slide. Four, slide. Three, slide. And two, slide. Who? Last one, all the way. We're gonna drop our forearms in our dragon pistol, okay? Standing splits, and this time I'm gonna try to straighten my leg all the way and drop the left forearm down. You could either grab that right foot with the left foot rather with the right hand. <sighs> We're staying. <sighs> Good. And release. Woohoo! Ah. Ah. And cross your legs. Shake, shake, shake. Pretty intense, huh? And then we're gonna do our one last compass pose just to mimic that flow, <laughs> which actually I kind of change it up at the end, but we're gonna do a different approach with the standing compass, okay? Whew. So we're gonna come into our tree pose. Let's start with, let's do the other, left leg first. Lift the left leg up, tree pose, good. Send it inside of that inner thigh, okay? And then we're gonna try our very best. Come on, this is your last. We're gonna send it out to straight, right? As much as you can. My legs are shaking. And then bend the knee, okay? We're gonna do that same thing, but you're gonna lift it as high as you can, right? So let, bring the left knee as high as you can first, right? So it, it doesn't matter if it's not as high, right? wherever you can, and then straightening that left leg, get a bend in that standing leg as you cook with your compass pose bind, or like a bird of paradise, right? It's either here, but sometimes I like to get it here, right? So from this position, so again, tree pose, I'll show you how I like to do my compass standing pose, bending the knee, right, as high as I can, the left arm is gonna be inside of that left knee. As I cook it, see that, right? I'm gonna carry that uh, shin or calf now with my left arm, right? And then from here, I'm gonna clasp my fingertips behind my head, pointing the toes and everything is engaged. Three, smile, two, and one. Woo, release. Oh, and that is very much super shaking intense but that worked so much and we're gonna do that on the other side okay right leg tree pose inhale exhale palms to touch good and this time knee up right shoulder inside of the right knee kick that right leg Woo! and see if you could come up sorry i'm very much wiggling there right and then hook I mean, you can always repeat this, right? Again, this is very, very intense. So 
it takes practice, right? Okay, <laughs> we're gonna hold and we're gonna smile. Smiling makes it a little bit easier. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Let's take a deep breath in together. Big breath inside and lift up and exhale, palms down to your heart space. Thank you so much for practicing with me on that fun flow. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. Let me know where is the hard part for you there so that maybe I could help. And let me know what else you want to see from me. Make sure that if you enjoy this class, you know what to do. Give this a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye. 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 <laughs> Buddy, you should move. Mama's going to be filming. I might kick you over there. Do you want to be over on the sheepskin? I'll, I'll bring your sheepskin, huh? This one. You want to stay here, buds? Okay, so you can be with Mama over here. Come on. This is where you should. Okay, Mama's going to be flowing. <laughs> you can't do that. Okay, Mama's going to be f filming. Okay, stay there next to Mama. I know you want Mama. I love you. Yeah, kisses. Okay, good boy. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be filming Yummy using this mat. Place over here. Buddy. Place. Buddy. Place. Good boy. Good job. Okay. <laughs> oh, good boy. <laughs>